Bum, bum, bum. Didn't see you there. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sonic and the Parallel Worlds. This is a Games Done Quick Hot Fix where we are having a look at fan games and Sonic game modifications, um, which we will now actually... The modification is exactly what we have next. You heard me humming a little... Well, humming a little bit. Um, <laughs> it's... Sonic CD music is just such an earworm, and we have got some Sonic CD in a very strange form factor. We are going to be having Dove showing off Snolf. Now, if you've been tuned in to some of the mainline Games Done Quick events, you will have seen... Was it was it the original release of Sonic the Hedgehog that you did a run of? It was, yep, Sonic 1 slash Snolf, which is called Snolf Zero because we like to make things confusing. I don't know. Why not? Why not? But we are <laughs> we are back with the Wolf, the uh, the professional Snolf player. What a title to have, um, <laughs> Do Wolf. I mean, it kind of says what it says on the tin. But uh, care to introduce yourself and what we have in store? Yeah, uh, I'm Do and this is Snolf. So, our specifically Snolf CD, a Snolf in time. So, for those of you that haven't seen Snolf before, it's pretty simple. Uh, we can set our power, we can set our height, and then we zoom. So it's basically golf controls. If I don't like my shot, I can take a mulligan, which will send me right back to where I was before I took the shot. Additionally, because this is Snolf in time, um, I'm also allowed to freely change my time. So I can just, so there's three buttons on the controller, A, B, C. One of them sends me the past, one of them sends me the present, one of them sends me to the future. So that's, Ooh. that's the controls. Uh, let's get to the run. So, uh, please let me out of time trial mode game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so time will start when I select Sonic, who is actually named Snolf. We just call him Snolf. But anyways, we'll start in three, two, one, go. Good luck. And skip the cutscene. So yeah, so... <laughs> Woo! Yay! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyways, yeah, so the uh, game starts out exactly as per normal. Uh, we just do a, you know, a straight shot, uh, get launched out right by this checkpoint. Very convenient. And then we're going to take a nice shot here. We're going to go straight to the future, which will let Ooh. us zoom into this little path right here. We're going to yank on the brakes then go into the past, because in the past, there was a very convenient butterfly, and we're going to destroy that butterfly. Ooh. Or we're going to roll the wrong way off of that platform. Thank you, subpixels. Uh. <laughs> That was a great way to start the <laughs> run right there. Uh, how do I rescue this? Um, okay, we're just going to take a big old shot. Uh, this will probably land me... Mm, okay. Uh, this is fine. We'll just drag to a halt. Uh, future will let me go straight to the end from this stage from here. Nice. Yeah, so <laughs> we did not get to destroy the butterfly. We did not get the butterfly effect anything. Very unfortunate. We'll have, to, we'll have to get a butterfly in this stage. There's another butterfly we can bounce off of if we get it exactly right. Um... But yeah, so that's sort of the idea. Uh, we just are going to switch between all of the different times, basically at will, uh, because, it's, you know, the stage layout changes in each time, and there's generally going to be some path that's better than the others. Here, we're trying to get over to the right, uh, not trying to hit that spring. We're trying to get over to a little hill over here that's just not that hill, a little bit further up ahead. Uh, past that spring, and here's the hill. So we're going to get onto this slope. We're going to use the apply brakes so we don't fall off the slope, and then we're going to go to the future. This will take us mm -hmm. to a platform over here with... Okay, we <laughs> undershot that ever so slightly. Uh, <laughs> Game's being rude. <laughs> Game is being very rude this morning. Um, but yeah, so now that we're here, we're going to do a full power shot back into the past. We're going to bounce off that butterfly right there, mm -hmm. take us over to these spikes. These spikes are at the very end of the stage. I don't know why they put spikes there, because you're normally not able to get up there. But uh, we can. We'll just go off of those spikes and go straight to the end. Um, and now this takes us to our first boss stage, because Sonic CD, like Sonic 1, is always three acts in each zone, third act is the boss. So for this stage, we're going to come over to the right, we're going to line ourselves up with this little pipe right here, and then we're going to do a full-powered shot. We're going to bounce off the bottom of a television, and then they'll take us straight through to the boss. Now, Ooh. the right side of the screen is a sprite, technically. Uh, and uh, because it's a sprite, we can actually do snulfs in the air off of any sprite. So we'll use that to just get a quick hit onto the boss. Uh, then one, two, three, he's dead. Uh, wow. Zoom off to the right, straighten down, and now we get the capsule boss. Snolf CD has very easy capsule bosses relative to <laughs> all the other Snolf games. Uh, you, the other Snolf games, you got to hit that plunger straight from above. This one, you just sort of smack it however you please. Much yeah, easier. Those are those are absolutely brutal. Yep. 
And uh, the just barely over 30 seconds to save seven seconds of real time, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, Collision Chaos, uh, this is a very fun zone. We're going to immediately go into the past, zip up to these platforms up here, then do a nice full power shot. Um, this will... My angle wasn't perfect, but it's fine. So we're gonna come in here. We need to get out of this. Uh, we're trying to get to the little Ooh. hole in the right that you can see over there. That's fine. Nice. Now, every time I go perfectly straight up, we'll actually get the ability to do an air snarl in Sonic City for whatever reason. Um, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to set up another air snarl up here. And we're going to try to bounce off of a ladybug. I, that might have been right. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, lovely. And so now we're up here. We're going to go full speed. It's going to send us... Okay, we were a little <laughs> bit less speed than I wanted. Um, that's fine. We'll just escape that. Come on, please let me go. Thank you. <laughs> Come over here, hit this spring. We're going to hold right. We get air control off of that spring for some reason. Sonic CD is weird. Um, yeah. Head over here. Uh, from here, we'll do another full power shot. It's going to get us just barely over Spike and all the way to the end of the stage. Very nicely done. Now, it's interesting. This category that you're doing is any percent no coordinate warp. I don't know whether that's mm -hmm. a better example later on in the run or whether you'd be you'd care to tell us what is a coordinate warp? So a coordinate so basically it's possible to store your position, your XY coordinates essentially, uh, from the end of one stage and use it to perform a mulligan in a second stage that will take you to those coordinates in this in the new stage. Hmm. This is stupidly broken. <laughs> um, for very, I think, straightforward reasons. It's just, the, yeah, just completely broken. So you wind up skipping almost every single stage. It's not fun. It's just not a fun run at that point, uh, at least personally. The salt that the Snull 3 and Null front, you can actually skip less of it because of Snull 3 and Null having different roles in all the other games. Uh, that one's an interesting run, but unfortunately, it's not remotely marathon safe. Oh. Um, yeah, you have to do like multiple frame perfect tricks, and you can't not go for it because it saves five minutes. But if you but you only get one try at it, and if you fail, you're stuck inside a wall. So <laughs> there's minor issues. There. Yeah. Anyways, uh, this is a pinball boss, which is really annoying. Um, in oh. fact, it's so annoying that instead we're just going to go over the entire stage and land a hole in one. Let's go. Nice shot. <laughs> you didn't get a short bonus for a hole in one. Oh, that's rude. Um, Maybe not yeah, for so bosses. It says shot bonus. It's actually the ring bonus, just like normal Sonic games. Oh, um, uh, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, they replace the shot counter, and that causes it to say shot bonus instead of time bonus for some reason. Anyways, this stage is nice. It's a giant underwater cavern. Um, they put a roof on the cavern for some reason, so we're just gonna go on top of that instead because I don't like water stages in my Snolf games because water, so water physics are stupid. I don't know how else to phrase it besides water physics are stupid. Um, there's also like so geometry and out of bounds is very weird. Uh, we are bouncing off of stuff out of bounds. Um, oh wow, we didn't get enough height. Interesting. So I'm basically, I'm just sort of blindly firing off shots here to get us through. Uh, we're in the past here because that place where we just landed uh, is not a platform in the future. It's only a platform in, they're like that, you sort of see how that, whatever, the, we would have fallen to the floor <laughs> if we weren't in the past. Let me just put it like that. Yeah. Also, the water level is lower, so we would have been underwater. Like, everything is just worse in the future. The past is where it's at in Title 1. Nice. Um, yes. So, Title 2, this is sort of a very cool bit. Uh, one of the things that you find in a lot of Sonic games is there's infinite vertically strolling sections. This is one of them, so we're going to try to fall onto this platform right here. only exists in the present. And we'll zip into the past. It lets us come into here nice and easy. Then we're going to fall with style in the future, which is by far the easiest way to fall. Um, we didn't hit a sprite, so we don't get an air snarl. That's a little unfortunate, but we'll just chip a shot in here. And then we need to come to a nice halt. Okay, we didn't really want to hit that spring, because now we're not in ball form, so we take damage. But that's fine come up here. Uh, we, again, water physics are stupid, so we're going to go to the past where there is no water. Um, you see there's a couple of springs down there. We really didn't want to hit them, so we're going to have to take the in-game method of time travel now, because we are very stuck. Uh, but when we travel through time, we're going to go into the future where there those springs no longer exist, so it's fine. Thank um, goodness. Okay, so we'll go to the future, which is where we really wanted to be. Uh, and then we're going to try to fall into this hole here. 
not bounce off of the spring at the bottom. Very nice. And we'll go full speed. There's an invisible spring there. Takes us into this path back up to the top. We'll go onto the left side and then go into the past where we'll destroy uh, the strange machine that lets you get good futures. Um, go, then we'll swap into the future. There is, and every other time, there is a annoying platform that you have to like dodge out of the way of. It's like moving up and down and it's annoying. But in the future, uh, it's gone. So... Hey, we made a good future. You're I'm, welcome. I'm a big fan of you calling the robot transporters uh, strange machines. <laughs> I don't... Is, is that what they're supposed to be? Robot transporters? I, I don't believe know. Anyways, so, but I mean, they are strange machines, so I can I can definitely get behind that. <laughs> um, anyways, this stage, we have to start off with a slight high jump. Um, there is one wall here that counts as a sprite, uh, that one right there, so we have to like go up without touching it. Oof. Very annoying. Um, as it will just kill all of our vertical, our horizontal momentum, excuse me, if we touch it. Now we have to get four hits on the boss that we're chasing after. That's two. Fall down into this pit. Um, we really want to get Robotnik quickly into this, in this pit, so we can get two hits. Nice, that's nice. all four. Uh, then we'll just follow after him into the boss zone. Come on. There we go. Okay, so this is a very annoying boss. Uh, he summons a bunch of air bubbles. The air bubbles respawn over time. Um, however, he is going to be very temporarily going to turn around. And while he's turned around, the air bubbles will not be protecting him. So we're just going to aim right like that and take him down oh, immediately. Whoa. That's awesome. Sorry, that is really cool. <laughs> Especially for that boss, because that boss kind of sucks. He is... Yeah, no, there is no good way to take him out uh, in Snulf besides doing that, for better or for worse. But yay! Next up, we have Quartz Quadrant, also known as the Land of Conveyor Belts. Oh, they're just everywhere. But, uh, but yeah. So, first off, we're going to do like a little chip shot to get up into the upper route, because as every Sonic player knows, upper route is fast. Um... Okay, we didn't really want to bounce onto the conveyor belt because we can't snulf unless we're at, at a complete halt, and conveyor belts are notoriously bad at letting you come to halt. We really don't want to warp through time. Very good. Uh, can manage to come to a stop. We're going to go to the past because the past has a little bump there that slows us down massively, and that means we didn't fall into that pit. Uh, then we'll just go back to the future. Again, we're trying not to warp through time because that has a very long cutscene that we really don't want to watch. Now we'll just go to the future because future is just gives us that little string that knocks us straight to the end of the stage. So we've talked about other snobs existing. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, you did one in the past GDQ and you've got one coming yep. out very soon, which I'm sure you'll talk about. Do they all mm -hmm. control fairly the same? Because I know they're done on different engines. I can imagine there might be some adjusting to do between them. Yeah, so the biggest... So, I mean, obviously, Soul CD is the only one that has the whole uh, you can travel through time bit. <laughs> so, the... Um, but, like, so you get... like So, 3 and Nulf has the, uh, you know, the shields and stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's a little higher than oh. I wanted to go. Um, yeah, so it has the shields. Uh, you have... So, you can use mid-air abilities. Um, you also get access to Hyper Snulf, which is wonderfully broken. <laughs> Great. Um... And then additionally, so uh, Sonic 2 is most, and Sonic and Snulf 0 are pretty plain. And then there's also Snulf Robo Blast 2, which is, <laughs> I mean, it's Snulf Robo Blast 2. It's yeah. pretty straightforward, I think. Oh, we did not want to travel through time there. Oh, well. Um, yeah, Snulf Robo Blast 2, pretty straightforward. Uh, how that is different than the other Snulf games, I think. Uh, anyways, we're going to just go ahead on over here. Uh, we really want to just sort of line ourselves up in this little spot on the ground, and that'll just let us zip through all those obstacles. Hey, we could have gone to a special zone. Nice. Do the special zones control the same as they usually do? Uh, they just control like normal. I was yeah, about to say, if they had somehow put snorf controls in that, I, that sounds... I, I mean, you could. I don't think it would be fun, but you could. Anyways, we're going to, over here, we're going to line ourselves up on this little third light. And on this third light, we'll just do a full power shot that'll let us zip into this conveyor belt. We're going to slam on the brakes so we don't fall off. Come over here, and then we're going to bounce up on top. Conveyor belt's going to spring us forward, and that'll take us to the boss room. Now, this boss is incredibly boring. Uh, we go fast. It's going to damage us. We're going to uh, pick up a ring again and repeat until he's eventually ground into dust. So instead, I'm going to talk about the next stage, Wacky Workbench. <laughs> uh, wacky Workbench is an extremely wacky stage, as the name would suggest. 
Uh, the entire floor, those of you who haven't played the game, the floor is made out of bouncy. <laughs> Um, I, this is, and it will just like springboard you 500 feet into the air. Uh, additionally, there's random platforms everywhere that are just that they're sticky in a way. I, I don't have a better word for this. Yeah, so yeah, when yeah. you land on them, um, like it messes with snarl physics horribly. I hate it. Um, but hey, that's where we're going. Additionally, there's a black hole in the level. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to that black hole and we are going to deliberately enter it, and we're going to try to get it to spit us out into a very interesting location. Oh. Um, yeah, so that's that's what's about to be happening. So once we're in the black hole, uh, normal physics, normal snarl physics will completely break. Instead, whenever I press the A, B, or C button, it will immediately warp me to the future, past, and present. And um, yeah, we're going to start strategically rolling our face on the keyboard. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> and we're going to just try to get the game to get very confused and send us where we want to go. So yeah, so that's what we got coming up. Very good. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to it. And I think chat will be looking forward to it. They are thoroughly enjoying this run. You're doing, <laughs> you're doing a very good job with it. Mm, thank you. Yeah, so... Yeah, so... First off, we're going to try to line ourselves up for an interesting shot here because, again, the floor made out of bouncy. Nice. That should take us right up to this higher area. Oh, that shot is stupid. Um, <laughs> and we'll just sort of slide down here. I did not know about that path until I started speedrunning. Nice. We'll head over to here, and this is the black hole. And we had got it first try. Let's go. Okay, so we just wrong warped to Act 2. What? I don't understand either. Hello? I have literally no idea why that worked. Also, we didn't just warp to any Act 2. We at warped to the good future of Act 2. I don't understand this. I have no idea why that works. If anyone knows why that works or can figure out why that works, please tell me because I would like to know. In wow. theory, we can make this trick work in other levels. Just I have like no consistent way of doing so. Um... I cannot believe that happened first time. So, like, like I was during my sound check with Richard, um, mm -hmm. or excuse me, with Ray, uh, I was just practicing this thing, and I got it zero times. So, getting it first try is kind of incredible. Oh, what a treat! Um, what a treat! Uh, that, yeah, thank you. Well done. <laughs> um, I'm now two for two, getting it first try in marathons. So, what the hell, universe? <laughs> Anyways. Um, oh goodness, yeah. So no idea why that works, uh, <laughs> but it does, and it's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so over here, uh, we need to get this bouncy to happen. There's no bouncy in the good future there for some reason. So we'll just quickly switch to the present and then go back to the future because I like Candyland. I was about to say, I love the, the art of Candyland in the good future. The here. good futures of this game are. Oh, I just love how they look. They are to die for. They really are. Uh, anyways, now we're on. Act three, which is a butt. Um, so basically, uh, we have more bouncy. And for that bouncy right there, as you can probably tell, I do... Okay, we Ooh. didn't mean to fall off, but that's fine. Um, we have a setup, but oh. then... So we need to get... In this next section, we're going to be going down. And we need to go underneath something. And there's bouncy in the way, and there's all these platforms. As you can see, when you're on one of those platforms, you can get off... Oh, that is perfect. Okay, we... 100% wanted to fall down there. Okay, so this shot is tricky, so we're going to have to possibly mulligan it a few times. But uh, from here, we can hopefully just sort of slip into nice, uh, just like that, into the boss arena. Thread the needle, nice. It is hard to describe how difficult that section normally is, but uh, this run is just going stupid well. Anyways, this boss, you're supposed to climb through complicated processes up to this third floor. <laughs> we just sort of snarl up there. It's easy. It's fine. Uh, so once the boss catches up, um, there, he's going to try to drop some spikes on top of my head, so we will just idly dodge those. Then he's going to try to drop some, or not dodge those, as the case may be. Then he's going to drop some rocks on our head. We'll use those to spring into the air and take him down. Nice. Again, uh, the rocks are a sprite. Any sprite, when we're in the air off of a sprite, we can perform an air snulf. And an air snulf is exactly what it says on the tin. It's just a snulf in midair. So, uh, yeah, wacky workbench... That is maybe the best wacky workbench I've ever had. <laughs> oh, I don't have my splits open to tell, but that <laughs> felt like the best total wacky workbench I've ever had by a pretty comfortable margin.
That's probably I'm the definitely better than the one in the so record. Folks, uh, a GDQ exclusive, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, Stardust is a wonderful stage. Um, oh, shoot, I forgot that. Anyways, we're going to head over here. We're going to do not a, quite a full power shot. Uh, we're trying to damage boost off that spike into this little nest over here. And here we'll do a full power shot. And so there's a lot of background foreground. Okay, perfect. We Ooh. wanted to go in here. Uh, we'll just sort of keep ourselves going forwards. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm going a little slower than normal. Hopefully that won't cause problems. Okay, that caused a little problem, but that's fine. We'll just fall down this hole a little manually. And we need to get up onto this spring into this hole, getting the ball in the hole. Hardest thing about Snarl, full damage boost off this enemy. We just very quickly go through to where we're kindly told the goal post Ooh. is. Nice. That was very nicely done. Yeah. Um, yeah. So next up, um, we're going to get to go to the past of this zone, which is very grassy. Um, I'm not really sure. Very strange zone. I'm not sure why it's so grassy, but let's just jump up in here and we'll take a full power shot. Uh, zoom very fast, then zoom some more. This is going to send us on a straight trip over on top of the little loop to loop that we just came out of. And then we'll do a nice full power shot. It's going to take us over to some more areas over here. We're going to do a quick midair snarl, get onto this section here. Uh, we're not quite on the right side. We're trying to go right through these televisions. Okay, we didn't go right through them. Um, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's come to a break at the top of this last of these little uh, camel humps here. Let's just take a full power shot. Uh, that'll slingshot us straight through to the end of the zone. Um, yeah, I don't know. Stardust Speedway is super fun. I love it. Such a beautiful stage. And yeah, oh, and the music. <laughs> oh, I know, I just keep on saying this for like a month. I mean, the whole the... music of this oh. game is incredible. I mean, oh, this so game has two great soundtracks. I prefer the Japanese, but like, you can't go wrong with either. Anyway, oh, yeah. Stardust Speedway, this is a boss race against Metal Sonic. Um, so there's two things to know here. One is that because it's a... In this section, we have hyper stealth, which means I can no activate stealth at any time uh, in the air. And the second thing you need to know is that I'm a blatant cheater. And I just went over the invisible wall, and I'm just going to start racing before. Uh, um, no way. Hyper, before uh, Metal Sonic even knew the race had begun. So we got a bit of a lead. Just, uh, just a little uh, bit. Just a little bit. He will catch up. Um, he will very definitely catch up. I was about to say, in the end, this is more of a safety thing because you still have to wait for him to finish the stage, I imagine? Uh, yes. We cannot beat the stage for like 1 minute 12 seconds or something. Um, but this is so much easier than uh, nice. trying to beat him in fair and square. Uh, so, ro yeah, Robotnik will catch up at around like the 1 minute 3 second mark. But yeah, no. <laughs> I am a blatant cheater. You're welcome. And uh, just sort of wait for the screen to scroll, and then we can get ourselves a smooch. Hey, nice. Sonic and does. We are incredibly to... bored by this smooch. We are just nonplussed. He does have time for very it, but... asexual here. It's not uh, snarf here. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, on to metallic madness. Uh, for this stage, we're going to go immediately to the past, and we're going to try to get us right onto this. We're going to then back up to this little divot over here. That's our marker. Uh, full power shot. We're going to try to bounce off of that spring. Very nice. And we'll come over here because that's a perfectly vertical spring. We have air snarl potential. We're going to use that to zip along ahead to... Ooh, that was Ooh. kind of unfortunate. Um, so we have to get back up. There we go. Um, yeah, that was just really bad angle that we uh, broke the box and then fell down. Um, anyways, we're going to come over here. We're going to get on the very left side of this so that B enemy cannot hit us with its giant maces. Do a nice full power shot. This is going to take us to another B enemy, which we're going to let stop it us uh, with its giant maces. And we're going to do another full power shot. It's going to take us over this wall over here and straight to the end of the stage. Where's my water? There's my water. Next up, we have another stage. There's a roof in the present. There is no roof in the past. We're just going to go into the past. Again, the left side of the stage is a sprite, so we can do a snarl off of it to get back to the present so we can stand on the roof. Um, we'll hit that string over here on top of the cylinder. Then we'll go back to the past, bounce up into this section, and then we'll do a nice shot to get on top of this roof over here. 
um, come to a halt. So we can do a nice ground shot that's a little bit faster. Um, get to the end of this section. And we're going to do a fairly full power shot from here. Uh, we're going to come over to a little enemy right there. We're going to bounce off him. He will miss us with his fireballs every single time. That is less scary than it looks. And we'll just do a nice <laughs> shot over to the goalpost. We tagged that goalpost. You cannot prove otherwise. Yeah. yeah we, <laughs> we, we can go with that. Yeah, and just like that, we are on to the final act. Um, this run's gone incredibly well. Um... Yeah, so for here, uh, okay, that is not what we meant to do. So we'll come down into this bottom section, and we're kind of sort of playing a Tetris game with spikes. Got to get back all the way up. Bounce over to this section here. Now we're trying to get through a sprite that's off screen, and the sprite will only move while we can see it. So we just sort of thwack ourselves into that sprite over and over again until Ooh. event, and do mulligans back to where we started until it lets us through. Hey, uh, yes. Coming up next is the hardest boss in the game. That's right, we have to kill a couple of fireflies. <laughs> um, so, I am very serious about these fireflies being impossible. Because we have to bounce off the wall and into him. While he's blinking, he is nice. invincible. That's what, now we have to kill two of them at the same time. Okay, so Ooh. yeah, we went a little early there. Uh, shoot. Um, hmm. Okay, so we're off cycle now. Okay, I think I can get one here. Oh, oh, oh that's close. Okay, come on. It's, oh, it's... Like, a, like, actually the hardest boss. Of the okay, there we go. Got one of them. Now that there's only one, it's a bit easier. Every other shot will be, like, aimed properly. Half the shots will be aimed randomly. A bit of a strange mechanic. Anyways, time for the actual final boss there, which has four hits. Um, first hit, uh, technically you can squeeze. So we can't hit him while he's up top, even though we can stop up there. We can only hit him when he comes down. Technically, you can squeeze in the shot. We're going to try to. Nice. Usually you just have the damage boost. Taking the shot is just sort of style points. Nice a little done. bit faster. Um, yeah, so now that we got our first hit, uh, again, he's going to come down. This shot, we're going to... Okay, I was 100% expected the need to do a damage boost there from that angle, but we actually got the direct hit. Uh, next up, he's going to like try to thwack us from above, with, and he does really bad aim. Then he's going to try to squish us, which is just like the very silliest thing he could have possibly done, because that just gives us a very easy snarl straight vertically up into his face. He's going to bounce around on top for a bit, and then he's going to he's going to like diagonal shoot us, kind of slide slightly out of the way of that one. Then he's going to eventually go into pogo stick mode. Uh, when he's in Pogo Stick mode, we can get the final hit on him, and that final hit will be time. Time. GG's. What a run. Wow. What a run. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what did my time wind up being? Um, on our end, that looked like a 2541. 2541. That's... I need to double check what the record is. What is the record? Ooh. Uh, We're getting our fact checkers on the case. Do, 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 do. Little Why is my roll. ability? LCD. Uh, that is world record. Hey! <laughs> nice. Let's go. Wow. That was... What a run. What a run. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Just, <Jeez. laughs> that's cool. Um, yeah, that's what happens when you get the best recce workbench you've ever had, I guess. Um, <laughs> so that's going to be fun to retime because we do have to do, so like, like most, uh, Sonic games, um, we use, so it's RTA real time. It might not be RTA minus time bonus real time, uh, um, world record, but it's probably is. Uh, so that'll be fun to find out, but yeah, so, um, that was awesome. Uh, we <laughs> estimate assumed that we like crashed the game several times in wacky workbench, <laughs> so we're a little bit under. But it, so I have some time to sort of talk madly, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't really have much to say madly. So thank you all for watching. Uh, that was awesome. Um, if you enjoyed Snulf, uh, we're going to be back. I'm going to be back with more Snulf bright and early tomorrow morning at exactly two seconds after nine o'clock. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, it's your it's schedule. True. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> it is true. It is true. I will t chat very quickly. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll also be running uh, Snulf at GDQ at about six o'clock local time in uh, on Tuesday morning. Yeah, Tuesday morning. Um, 
yeah, so feel free to check me out there. Check me out at my at uh, twitch.tv slash dollwolf with two Fs. And take it away. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for the, for this for this run. Um, if folks thought, you know what, this is what my classic Sonic game needs. I need to, I need to snulf it up in a classic Sonic game. Where can the various snulfs be found? Yeah. So all of the two D snulfs. So snulf zero for Sonic One, the original snulf for Sonic Two, um, snulf three and Nulf, which is exactly what it says on the tin, and snulf oh CD and snulf in time can be found in the uh, GitHub of Dr. Melon. Uh, they are the ones who've done all these 2D ROM hacks. Um, so you can sort of Google that. You'll find it there. Uh, you can reach out to me on easiest place to find me probably is Bro uh Cuso Grande server um, if you need any help finding that. Uh, for the Snolf Roboblast 2 mod, that is just available as a mod on wherever find Snolf Mod Snolf Roboblast two mods are sold. I forget the site name. I'm bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure a quick Google search will 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 bring the goods. But uh, mm -hmm. yep. phenomenal. That was yeah. I mean, everybody. We just saw one of the best runs of this game ever. So um, yeah, definitely check out Doe Wolf uh, when he'll be on later and just in general. Um, mm -hmm. And yes, we are going to be. Having a little break and then passing it over on to Nacho the Adventurer from the Nacho series. He is going to be showing us Chow Resort Island. We've had a bit of a classic twist on our first four or so run, well, first three runs, but Chow Resort Island is going to take things in a slightly different direction. Everybody loves everybody loves Chow's, right? Do you, do you like Chow's, Dolph? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there we go. I'd be, I'd be really sad if you were just like, oh, no, I really don't, actually. Uh, <laughs> They're so adorable. How could I? I have spent way too much time in SA2 Beyond playing with the Chow. True, they are. They are They are cute little people. And we're going to be with Nacho and his commentator, Cowboy Knuckles, as they take us through Chow Resort Island. What does that entail? Join us after the break and you will find out. See you, folks, in a second.